Now I've arrived at Thought Park for my first half day I guess which is just riding Hyperia a few times basically. Not been on it yet. I went for the second day of the season when Hyperia wasn't open. So I'm really excited to experience the UK's tallest, fastest and most weightless roller coaster. It's right there, it's just so massive when you walk in. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'll share my review and do some off ride shots. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been on it, but I'm so excited it kept me up at night. I didn't say this earlier and I didn't get any footage of it. It actually broke down, it's been broken down for about two hours now. We've just been on Nemesis Inferno, I'm gonna do a short review. Yeah, it was good, someone was sick in the queue and they had to test it four times. So yeah, anyway, I like that. Now we're heading to Hyperia because we've just seen it testing. So yeah, I am absolutely, I'm so excited. It's got such good reviews and oh my God, I'm so excited. Here we go, just walk into it now, but yeah. I completely forgot to mention that. We had to get evac from the um, final break run. So, yeah, cool, I guess. And then,
a low for nothing end. So we just like to walk in. Yeah, a lot of people going in the fast track because I gave out free fast tracks for like anyone who was still in the queue. So it's got a minimum height requirement of 1.3 metres. It's actually quite short to be fair. It's got the same as Icon and Ride Happiness and all these requirements. I really like that sign actually. period for the first time it's a 236 foot tall mac hyper coaster and oh my god it's absolutely incredible it's got so much air time actually the most in the uk it's got such a good drop every single element is great it's a bit short but you know it's it's just i'm speechless definitely the best in the uk i just i can't believe it like to have this in our country it's insane like I'm going to do a proper big review after this, after I've been on another ride, because we've got three fast tracks after it broken, after it's just broken down. Every single part of it's just incredible. I'll give you a full in-depth review after this ride. And I've just had my second ride on this absolute beauty. We're in this pretty much the same seat. So we have four people and then we just swapped around basically. But yeah, definitely my favourite in the UK the most airtime, everything. I just absolutely love it. My favorite in the UK, it's like one of the best, one of the best rides in Europe. It's, it's incredible, tallest in the UK, fastest in the UK, longest at Thought Park. It's just so good, every single element, like I'll start off with like um, the outer bank turn. When you're like on the right hand side, like nearest to the air gate, then you get, that's actually probably better. Um, and you go up the lift hill, you get, a really good view um, you can see loggers leap as well the remains of it at least um, and then and then you go over the top where you can see like London and stuff it's absolutely massive and you go down the 108 degree twisted drop and yeah that's one of the best moments on the whole ride it's the best drop in the UK one of the best in the world I just that's one of my highlights of the ride then you've got the um, non-inverted Immelman as well um, you get some good air time at the top it goes really fast through that because it's quite a small element compared to the ride but what's not small compared to the ride is that outer bank whatever you call it outer bank turn around into the creme roll. like oh my god like it's just everything you get hanged out it's a bit like oh <laughs> hi <laughs> and then um um yeah you get it's a bit it's like very steep and you know you go through it quite fast like when it was testing then you really didn't but now it's got some pace in there then you go down to the crema roll which is absolutely incredible it's really whiffy might be the death roll not as good as the death roll but oh my god um yeah and then you go into the best stall i've ever been on it's just so slow you get a bunch of hang time everything and then the drop is good after that then you've got a splash down that doesn't work and then a few breaks as well and then you go into a wave turn which isn't the best wave turn in the world but it's still pretty good you twist in and then you do a little pop and then go into the brakes and that's the ride it's quite short but you know it's still like just wow just wow it's just so tall it towers over Thorpe Park towers over um, London and yeah anyway see you in the Chessington vlog and then after that I have a full Thorpe Park vlog coming out I'm gonna go on a high period a few more times and then also the other ride to you like Swarm you can see there one of my other favorites in the UK but not as good as Hyperion anyway see you in the next one bye